Okay, automation. So now the idea is we're totally efficient and we can now start to automate things. We can't automate things until we're efficient. Once we become efficient, the question is what to automate? Uh, automation is one of those kind of cool tag words that everybody likes to hear but nobody really knows exactly what it means. <laughs> and when it comes out of our businesses, what exactly is it that we want to automate? Uh, here's some suggestions I have from the things that I've found. For starters, pre-script all your emails. It's, it's amazing how much time I used to waste typing out the emails that really most brides ask the same questions throughout the whole process. Sometimes they're a little you know, modified, they throw another question, a little curveball, which you can always just throw in a paragraph at the bottom. But really, the inquiry, uh, the appointment confirmation, the appointment follow-up, the booking email, the email for their engagement session, the email to talk about their wedding before it happens, on and on and on. Uh, if you're involved with ShoeQ, you know that this can all be automated and done for you. And, and even if you're not involved with ShoeQ, at least having these pre-scripted out, it makes it sense. It makes it a lot of. It makes it. It makes it easy. Excuse me for you guys to go through and to proficiently respond to these things. All you have to do is fill in a name. Maybe add a little one-liner about how you enjoyed seeing them in that. You know that really cool pair of shoes last week, and then off you go. You can personalize an email, and then I'll get to all your questions at the end. By the way, so just write them down. I promise I'll get to them. Pre-schedule your blog post. Uh, blogging for me, I uh, I hate it. I mean, I like it because I think it's great and I love looking at the blogs and I love being able to blog, but I always feel bummed out when I have to blog. So I do four or five of them at once. And by doing four or five of them at once, I pre-schedule them and it becomes so much easier to do four or five at once rather than doing one at a time. It becomes so much more efficient when you bulk things together. It's, it's true. Do multiple blog posts at once. Oh, that's what I just talked about. So the pre-scheduled blog post, I missed that. That's, what I meant was, don't do your blog post uh, the, the, the night when you want to release it. Do it ahead of time and schedule it to release, which we all have that capability inside of our blogs. Um, have an SEO-friendly website. Uh, I mean, that will save you so much time in all the marketing you need to do. I know I use Livebooks, and I, I promise you guys that from my research, they have the best search engine optimization built in. And it allows me to have my website out marketing for me, so I'm not having to do all that marketing myself. It automatically goes out and finds brides, thanks to being able to be seen on Google and Yahoo and all the search engines. And so, uh, you know, I'd recommend making sure your website is working for you as well. Just like you're pre-scripting your emails and you're, you're automating things, make sure your website is automatically working for you, rather than a you know entirely flash website that doesn't go out there and do that work for you, as pretty as it may look. Um, online services. Pictage automates everything for me from print orders to credit card processing to marketing uh, to the guests. They, they do, from the time I shoot, they make it so much easier for me to automatically market to my clients and to the people that they know. Uh, ShootQ, again, I already talked about, but there's so much automation built into ShootQ. If they had to summarize ShootQ with one word, it'd be automation. And it's, it's brilliant. Uh, Tube Mobile. So this is a website, rather than uploading your slideshows to YouTube, TubeMobile allows you to upload to, I think it's nine different hosting, uh, slideshow hosting websites. Now that's what I like to see, something that takes a task and duplicates it across a, a number of different websites. Social Oomph, so you can actually pre-script out all your Twitter, all your tweets. You can tie it in with your Facebook. And this website will do it all for you. you can, just like you're pre-scheduling your blog posts and doing multiple blog posts at once, you can do that with all your, all your tweets. That's what Social Oomph does. Uh, so thinking about ways to automate, guys, can save you so much time. You would not believe how many hours a week you can shave off of your work week by letting automation take over for you. How about workflow? In the booking process, what about if you handled the vendor referrals when you booked them? Instead of booking them and then thinking, oh, gosh, I just got an email from that DJ. I should refer that DJ to someone. Oh, I just booked that bride. I'll just send her a quick email. What about if you prepared ahead of time and had the bookings ready, or excuse me, had the vendor referrals ready to go and you could hand them to someone when they book? At the pre-wedding meeting or on the phone with them before the wedding, what about if it was then that you acquired the info for the vendors so that way after the wedding you're ready to go and you can talk to the vendors that were at the wedding. You don't have to worry about getting a business card at the wedding. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, track, trying to track them down afterwards, or down the, uh, down the road when you're, when you're doing a magazine submission. What about if you automatically gather that at the time of the pre-wedding meeting? Post-wedding. The big question there is, I have to ask, why edit? Um, uh, when you look at the value of your time, as we talked about earlier, 
and the fact that a company like a shoot.edit can process your images for 29 cents, and you add that up across how long it takes you to edit a wedding, 15 hours, 10 hours maybe if you're really good, 20 hours you know, if, you're, if you're not as good, and you, you do the math on that, you know, you're working for $10 an hour if you're editing your own work. Why not have that taken care of, even though that might be the hardest thing to let go of? How about, again, the post-wedding? What about if, when you got your images back, and when you're getting ready to utilize them, what about if you did the highlight slideshow for your bride, the blog post, the Facebook album, the YouTube slideshow, and picked your highlight, or your website potentials all at the same time? How much easier would that make life when, down the road, you wanted to go update your website? Or, when someone came to you and said, God, did you know that YouTube is the number three ranked search engine in the country right now, and that having all your weddings on YouTube is a great way to drive traffic to your website, you go, oh gosh, can you imagine trying to go make web uh, slideshows from all my past weddings? But you already had it done because you already picked all the pictures for it and you already made the slideshow at the same time that you did everything else. 